everyone and welcome to today's art challenge. This is brought to you by Arts Network and we are an arts and mental health charity that uses art to improve well-being. You can find all of our activities and videos at www.artsnetwork.org.uk. So today we are going to be making a painting inspired in Japanese artist Hokusai. So we're going to be taking his print of the Great Wave as inspiration for our painting. So for this activity, you're going to need card or paper. You're going to need a brush, or if you don't have a brush, you can use a cotton bud, and you're going to need some paint. So I've got three different types of blue and a white. So you're going to need two to three different shades of a color. It can be any color and a lighter color, ideally white. Uh, if you don't have any paint, you can try making our coffee ink um, and the recipe is in, in one of our videos that you can check out. Uh, so let's begin. Alrighty. So, oh, another thing. You're also gonna need two bits of um, scrumple paper. So a big one and a little one. So they're just paper I scrunched. All right, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna grab your bigger piece of scrunched paper and you're gonna dip it on the one of the lightest shade of your color, but not the white, the second lightest one. And what I'm going to do now is basically this is going to become the foam of the wave. So I'm going to do the first one, which is kind of down below. More. And now for the second big wave. Alrighty, once you have those two foamy bits done, what you're gonna do is with your brush, you're gonna sort of um, grab it and pull down the paint to create um, the wave. So this one I'm gonna do, it doesn't matter if it's... You just... We're gonna add more paint in a moment, so don't worry that it looks um, like there's not enough paint. And then you're gonna do the same with this one. This one has a bigger curve, so it curves more dramatic. And you're doing the same. All right. Once you have that, you can go ahead and grab your second color. It can be either of the ones you have, or if you only have another one, just grab that. I'm gonna grab this blue. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're just adding color to your waves. And like I said, if you don't have a brush, what you can use is a cotton bud. And with one of the tips of the cotton bud, you just draw that motion as if it was a brush. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my darkest color. I'm gonna do that again, but it's gonna be a little bit more defined, sort of mark where the wave, where the waves are. So you wonder. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now the last bit you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab your smaller bit of um, crumple of paper. You're gonna grab your white paint and you're just kind of gonna go over um, the bits you've done that represent the foam. Just to finish up, you're gonna do the same thing you did at the beginning where you sort of uh, pull some of the paint with your brush, but you're gonna do it very, very lightly this time, just very lightly. So, I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly pull it, very lightly. This is our version of Hokusai Wave. So go ahead and try this at home. And you don't have to use blue, you can use any color you want. You can do purple waves and yellow waves, orange waves, whatever you want to do. And I hope you enjoy this. I hope you're staying well, you're staying creative and staying connected. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.